My name is Mark. Tim. Good to meet you, Tim. Tell me a little bit about your round barn here. Well, it's uh, they. It's been rebuilt, and uh, it was made in 1898, I believe, or 89. Not exactly sure. I wasn't around then. Okay. But uh, it's very unique. The man who built it, they asked him why he wanted to build it round, and he said. Uh, so the high winds wouldn't blow it down. I'd also heard it's the way the devil couldn't back you into a corner. Well, that is also a rumor. We're not sure about that. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, they rebuilt it. The city of Arcadia, where we are here, rebuilt it, took the old lumber as much as they could, and, uh, and uh, rebuilt, put a foundation in, rounded it off exactly as it was before, and then uh, took whatever lumber they had to buy, went down to the river, soaked it in the river so that they could bend it, and uh, rebuilt this place. So, and that was in 1980-something, so. What happened to the original incarnation? Uh, well, you can see here, there are some, it, it finally dilapidated and fell. Here's where they're beginning to rebuild it. You can okay. see some of this here. It's very unique upstairs. There's some great photos around here that you can take a look at. Okay. But uh, we get people from all over the world here. Here's a map over here. At least 50% of the customers who come through here are from overseas. You can see all over Europe, all these pins indicate where people have come from. Africa, Australia, wow. Russia, China. Just had a couple of people in here a little earlier from China. Well, I'm learning that uh, the a lot of the foreigners are taking huge interest in the old Route 66. They are. And I've even, uh, one stop I made at the Do Drop In, or you drop in, they actually had a Chinese-based Route 66 book done up in Chinese. Yes. Somebody had written one. No, they all, they, a lot of them will rent motorcycles and get dressed up in their Harley Davidson garb okay. and put their chicks on the back of it and head down 66. A lot of them start in, uh, uh, up in Chicago and uh, we just have a great fun with all of them. I'll tell you, it looks like you've got a lot of stuff to look at. I uh, appreciate your time so much. I'm going to walk around and check things out a little bit while I'm here. And thanks again for your time. All right. Good luck to Thank you. Thank you so much. Explorers, as you heard it from the horse's mouth, uh, this is an amazing stop. This has got all sorts of uh, Route 66 memorabilia. Look at the old uh, album. Here's a picture of the old uh, round barn. Some of the things you used to actually build it looks like. America's Highway of Vintage old map, a Rand McNally uh, printing of the actual original Route 66 from Chicago to Santa Monica. Dedication bricks hanging to the round barn. Even a coke train down there. And as I rounded the corner, you got a huge, huge horse drawing this foot. Pretty cool. Vintage old lathe, some tools, huge bank vault uh, safe door. I just love places like this, explorers. There's so many things like this that you can just get out and see, even in your local uh, towns or local uh, uh, states, even old churches. One of the original shops here in uh, Arcadia. And back around, let you see some of the local memorabilia. Way the 
the ceiling is uh, built. This is probably one of these all the way. Keeps going and going and going until the uh, center. And how do you get up to the upstairs? From the outside. Okay. And they have a lot, they, we rent the upstairs. They have hood candies and, and weddings and uh, every weekend. Okay. There is something, usually some kind of folk music or country music, bluegrass, all kinds of stuff. Well, sounds good. Let me go check the upstairs out. I appreciate you it. Bet. All right, explorers, we're going to walk around this and see if we can find a way to get in the upstairs of the round barn as we're walking around this round pathway around the round barn on the round ground around Arcadia. Looks like we keep going and going and going and eventually we're going to get there. Oh, I see something. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're fixing to walk upstairs right now. All right, Spiller, let's walk up these uh, red stairs around the red barn in Arcadia and see what the upstairs looks like. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful upstairs. Looks like you got some kind of event setting up. Did you send out a message to ask for people to take down? Yeah, no, you're coming. I'm okay. paying up to the uh, ceiling here for you. All the way up in the round bar. In Arcadia. Even got Benny Jeff Lanterns made up of light bulbs in them. This is the, uh, the floor. This has been our little tour of the Round Barn in Arcadia. And I want to end it on the uh, top floor of the barn, the Round Barn. And I'm kind of overlooking Arcadia. Arcadia is not that large of a little town, but there's still some thriving businesses, looks like. And I'm gonna, uh, since I'm up a little bit taller here, I'm gonna pan around and let you see some of it. And for now, explorers, everyone have a fantastic day of exploring wherever you may be. And see the traffic running on the old mother road in the uh, distance there. And the uh, farm implements. But anyway, for now, signing off. Talk to you in a little while, Explorers. Thanks again. All right, Explorers, before I leave the round barn, I ran across one other thing. And everybody had one of them. And thank goodness this one isn't occupied right now because the door is standing wide open on it. But panning around, everyone had one of these. It was an outhouse. You came into the outhouse and did your business. And there's an old Sears and Roebuck catalog back in the good days of Sears. Tore a page out and use as your toilet paper. And this is even a double seater right here. You can have a conversation in the outhouse if you wanted to. But anyway, thought I'd uh, throw that in at the, uh, the end there for you explorers. Everyone take care. Bye-bye now.